we are now here for the 12th lecture of the partition lecture series that will be delivered by professor nundini bhattacharya from the university of bardhaman so thank you sridhi for a very kind introduction i have you see there is one problem uh, which i will express at the outset this lecture is meant for what i would call the bengal borderlands now this is a particular expression used by william van shandel who is one of the uh, uh, major border scholars now uh, because i have seen bengal as uh, you know as a continuation of a south asia that is pre partition and where i do not only see historical wounds and conflicts but where i see multiple opportunities and intertwined histories therefore my work is not necessarily confined to west bengal a province within the indian union you see i am against the uh, a post partition view of the world a post partition view of the world uh, always visits those historical wounds always talks about fault lines always talks about how we are divided and how there should be more conflict because we were once divided i would like to look at our histories as intertwined as uh, related and therefore our resolutions our uh, way forward is also intertwined and uh, uh, you know uh, and and interconnected so this is the one little um, submission that i make to dr mukherjee that my lecture is not confined to bengal though this was the uh, this was the premise on which monon had actually called me in that the partition repository and the partition seminar is looking at the history of bengal i would like to see it as a large porous borderland where there are interconnections where there are uh, a lot of uh, you know uh, interrelations and those histories are not merely histories of conflict right so given this uh, particular introduction i would like to uh, sort of read out what i have written and sometimes of course also explain what i am trying to say now i am trying to say that partition historiography of bengal and when i say bengal i mean a greater bengal uh, which is which was territorially interconnected uh, during the british era and even before the british era and should be territorially interconnected uh, you know now more than ever so what i say is that partition historiography of bengal must mo look more attentively towards its chor formations the clusters of deltaic islands that rise and subside along with storms high tides and movements of great rivers such as the damodar the brahmaputra and the matla while territorially speaking these chores have unstable enigmatic qualities that question the permanence of lands and its laws their juridico political nature is equally ambiguous now why do i talk about when i talk about the question of partition when i talk about the question of refugees why do i not start with say a conflictual event or maybe with migration patterns but why do i begin with territories this is because i see territories as preceding and as uh, you know being later than these conflicts and i also see the very formation of nation states with the drawing of the radcliffe line and the emergence of four states myanmar east pakistan india and west pakistan and then bangladesh all right these 
these four major states actually have very, very interconnected histories. And if we have a more liberating view of of such partitions, which were inevitable, nation formations, which are inevitable, we must also look towards an intertwined history of South Asia, where these are these are not just divisions, but also opportunities of connections. See, that is the minor point that I'm making. I'm not denying partition. I'm not denying the Indian nation. What I'm simply saying is that we have connections which precede these partitions. And these connections continue after nation formation. Nation is only about... Uh, less than 300 year old uh, an idea and it is has become largely anachronistic we need to look at other kinds of formations and this is our only way out of this conflictual situation which we find ourselves in today so when i look at the chor or the deltaic region what you will find is that these are the liminal spaces around the nations. You see, the nations that I am talking of, that is Burma, Myanmar, Bangladesh, which was East Pakistan, and West Bengal, they are uh, surrounded by or they have a penumbra of these deltaic formations, these chores. Now, these deltaic formations rise and subsume. They, there, when there is a high tide, when you are dancing with the river, as one of my colleagues has written a book of this name, the, these change, these little territories change. So when we are talking of lines, when we are talking of borders, when we are talking of walls, do remember that the geography of, you know, eastern part of South Asia does not support this sort of very strict bordering. One of the reasons why we are in such a mess is because geography won't allow the bordering. Geography is about these breaking down, these, uh, you know, going down of little parts of the land and then them rising according to the high tide of river. So what role, I mean, this is the, again, another minor point that we must look at the chore formation not as a peripheral territorial part of our, uh, of uh, the, of greater Bengal, but as, as something that is significant to the very formation of Bengal and to its history. And I repeat that that history must be a shared history. We cannot always be seeing the subcontinent through the lens of partition. There has to be another lens. While partition is a reality, it is also true that there are multiple connections that we share. And those can only be understood through the vector of the chore. This is the point. Now, just have a look at this. I mean, let me read out a bit of this. Uh, while territorially speaking, these chores have unstable enigmatic qualities that question the permanence of lands and their laws, their juridico-political nature is equally ambiguous. What is this juridico-political nature? Now, it is simply while a land, you know, during partition, while the stable land where there is a settled cultivation is has one set of laws, chores have another set of laws. This is because from the Roman times, islands used to be, there was the diluvian and the anti-diluvian laws, which deal with what is known as a place of settled cultivation and a place of, uh, you know, dispersed cultivation or what is known as wasteland. Now, I would like to introduce to you this binary of along which the legal system, the British legal system, which inherited itself from the Roman legal system, that is the binary between what is known as a wasteland, a state of nature and a cultivable land or a cultivated land or a state of culture. Basically, this becomes, in 
more ordinary technology it's called wasteland and garden all right the best example is the assamty gardens which were originally called wasteland but then they were called gardens garden means a place which you have cultivated which you have settled within which where you can partition things whereas a wasteland is something that is territorially unstable and therefore cannot always be properly partitioned or its people cannot be divided off or the idea of the nation state which in itself is about fixed cities which is about borders which is about katatarer bada those cannot be Uh, deployed in relation to such wasteland now the chord is the excellent example of such liminal juridico political states because they rise and they you know they also disappear with the tides of the river and so most of the chords of brahmaputra or the chords of damodar or the chores of matla have these very difficult legal situations all right whom it belongs to if, how near it is to the mainland if it is near to the mainland according to british law it then belongs to that the owner of that mainland what happens to its legality if the chore goes down now these are some of the questions that one has to uh, what happens if the chore again resurfaces to whom does it belong then you see so i am saying that it is you don't need a deridian project to talk about indeterminacy the bengal borderlands have territorially geographically have certain formations that make it indeterminate that make it territorially juridico politically indeterminate and makes partition always a uh, deferred project refugee making a deferred project nation belonging a deferred project because you see you can never sort of cut off things clearly now uh, chores represent the fundamental binary between state of nature and state of culture please read your lock who was uh, the originary theorist of what is a state of nature i mean if there is an apple tree in which apples are growing then it is natural the moment you fence off the apple tree and you employ a hired hand to pick apples then it becomes yours so then it is a state of culture and then the government can tax you on that so what are, what is the uh, idea of chores all right also between savage and civilized i mean people who are in the normal territories they are civilized the wasteland is coterminous with the savage unimproved state we are also using a darwinian terminology something that is just there and something to which you have deployed the idioms of improvement all right improvement unnati is is central to the colonial project you are becoming better you are nondini 1 you become nondini 100 so or you become nondini minus 100 you can also have atavism ami ekebare bhoyankor mondo hoye gelam মানে বাদরের মতন হয়ে গেলাম তাহলে নন্দিনী মাইনাস ওয়ান হান্ড্রেড হয়ে গেল কেমন তো এই যে ইম্প্রুভমেন্ট বা অ্যাটভিজম এইটা হচ্ছে দিস ইজ ডারউইনিয়ান অ্যান্ড দিস ইজ দি আইডিয়া দ্যাট ইজ ইউজ ফর দি কলোনিয়াল প্রজেক্ট ইভেন অফ ল্যান্ড মার্কিং অল রাইট সো পোস্ট নাইনটিন ফর্টি সেভেন পার্টিশন হিস্টোরিওগ্রাফি গিভেন দিস ওয়ে দি রেফিউজেস অফ চয়েস Uh, of marginal people the wretched of the earth as well as objects of brutal state action all right so strangely enough the uh, chores because they were so uh, liminal these have been traditionally places where people have escaped they have escaped they have sought refuge and these are also places where there have been crackdowns now the two very important uh, refuge seeking uh, events have been one of moridchapi and the other is of uh, the rohingyas who have been uh, who supposedly were sought to be put in the jaliyar chor or the bhashaner chor 
thing at your so sort of about uh, 100 miles from the cox bazar uh, mainland so uh, so uh, this is what i say can the chor be that place where one achieves clarity about geographical territory as not just that not claimed legitimized utilized by statist powers given that the chor's fragile territorial ontology that such lands may rise and submerge often several times within a human being's lifetime its uncertain juridico political status can it remind us in reality of the very uniqueness of bare unaccommodated unlegitimizable human beings all right can these riverine islands within an active deltaic region be ideated as alterities of cosmopolitan refuge now i'm saying things which are a little complicated and since you know when you write something down it's one thing when you say something it needs to be opened out a little i am saying two things one is that according to hana arendt and it is her idea hana arendt is a jewish philosopher who was uh, hounded out of germany and who found refuge in us she in the origins of totalitarianism was the first to actually ideate the question of refugee who is the refugee okay and is being a refugee or a stateless person is it an advantage or a disadvantage these are the two questions that she put now it was her ideas which were later developed by a more well known um, theorist called agamben and also a more well known theorist called jacques derrida all right these what was her idea her idea was that a refugee is a uh you know it's a strange position why is it a strange position a stateless person or a refugee actually reminds you of your unaccommodated state when we are born you see when we are born we are not born of any nation till our name is registered in the birth certificate oi je alpo shomoy tuku je shomoy amader जन्म होटिफिकेट नाम शहर एवं नेशन लेखा है दैट मोमेंट इज वेन उर कमप्लीटली ह्यूमान नाउ द रेफ्यूजी एक्चुअली रिमाइंड अस अफ दैट एसेंशियल ह्यूमानिटी बिकज द रेफ्यूजी इज अनफिलिएटेड टू और नन एफिलिएबल ताके एफिलिएट करा जाए ना अन एफिलिएटेड से द रोहिंगा द म्यांमार वोंट टेक देम बांग्लादेश इज अनहैप्पी विद देम इंडिया विल थ्रो देम आउट सो इट इज द रोहिंगा परहैप्स शोस दैट ह्यूमन बीइंग इन इट्स अन एकोमोडेटेड प्योर स्टेट all right even before the mark of nation has not been put on it if that is according to uh, arent the great advantage of being a refugee there are many disadvantages all of you will be able to say what are the disadvantages but the great advantage is to see yourself as entirely a human being see not bangali not भारतीय नट बांगलेशी नट माइनमारिज नट अफगान अफगानिस्तानी बट सीम्पली एज एूमान बींग दिस इज अ पजिशन अफ ग्रेट क्लैरिटी एंड एडभान्टेज अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट यू आर आल्टिमेटली ओनली अूमान बींग एंड दिज आर मेयरलि कन्स्ट्रक्ट द नेशन इज अ कन्स्ट्रक्ट द इंडियन नेशन इज अफ टू हंड्रेड इयर्स आई एम सरी अफ सेवेंटी इयर्स अफ एज so the bangladeshi nation is of you know 1971 taina right? so what 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 exactly is the time of this nation uh, affiliation so this the refugee position is interesting because the refugee position reminds us of our unaffiliated and unaffiliable uh, position as a human being also because the refugee is this is my uh, little submission because the refugee is that waste 
it is, cannot be juridico politically controlled you see the refugee doesn't belong to here doesn't belong to there therefore is kept in detention camps therefore there is a coevality coeval kotha ta thik ache to coterminus there is a equal sign between the refugee and that chore land between the stateless person and that chore land the chore land is not occupied or not something that can be stamped by the nation or by province or by state the refugee is that the stateless person is that you know liminal idea which cannot be thus stamped therefore they are coeval and it strangely enough refugees have often sought refuge or stateless people have often sought refuge in these chore lands the two major events that i will be talking about one being morijjapi and the other being jaliar chore where now as of now hasina wazid has Uh, de- uh you know due to international pressure she has now declined sending of those people even though you know formally the barracks are there the all the installations are there but the rohingyas refuse to go and they call it a death camp and it, there is every probability that when with a high tide or any kind of a jhor storm event those islands may be submerged and it is very very far from the cox bazar utilities therefore like the manus and the narao camps of uh, in the pacific uh, I, i mean these are these are near near australia like those detention camps these detention camps are uh, difficult to be inhabited nevertheless why are they being inhabited there or why is there a project to inhabit them because they are neither here not there where where do you send such people where do you send such uh, you know stateless people who neither the minorities will take nor india will take nor can they have a land of their own all right now um, so uh, the point is that can such Uh, exploration the task of ideating sustainable refuge domains for stateless people be one of the primary ethical responses of our times what i'm saying is that and i'm making many points i'm sorry i mean these are all very difficult ideas but i'm saying that one of the primary ethical responses of our times should be to think about the chord as one of a uh, a refuge idea now what is a refuge idea now for this we have to look at derida's essay on cosmopolitanism where derida is talking about cities of refuge now why is derida talking about cities of refuge remember that derida himself was a refugee and he was an algerian refugee and had a lot of problems about settling himself in france now why does he talk about a city as an idea of refuge this is because he takes his ideas from uh, augustine cities of god this is a confessional narrative and within an abrahamic tradition of ideas the idea of city is an idea of cosmopolitanism eta ektu porishkar bujhe nite hobe je jekhane gramer dharona shonge amader jat pat class ittadi dharona joriye ache shekhane shohorer dharona nagorer dharonar shonge ek dhoroner muktir bapar ache je dharona amader dharon kore dharona ta age thik kore nawa dorkar dharonata gondogol hoye gele bhavna tao gondogol hoye jabe so you see the dharona of a city is very central to the uh, abrahamic uh, concept of of uh, to abrahamic concept of spaces within the abrahamic concept of spaces the city even though associated with corruption and with pollution is also associated with relative non attachment and freedom 
ओके यू कैन लुक एट टी एस एलियट और ह्यूम और एनी ऑफ द मॉडर्निस्ट पोइट्स एंड यू कैन लुक एट द फिगर ऑफ द फ्लैनियर एंड यू कैन see how the city idea developed as a place where one could escape one's provincial chains look at someone like say james joyce all right uh, who, he leaves his provincial dublin to go into paris because it is a city of refuge je log gulo ja पात इत्यादि प्रोविन्सियल टाइर द्वारा तारित पीड़ित तर शहर भावनाटा एक खूब बड़ भावना जे शहर भावनार संगे हमारे एक मुक्तर भावना जड़िए आज जेको लोक जेको जैगा शहरे से स्थान पे हमें बोलना सब समय मैं पैरिस किंबा लंडन है बाट दि आईडियर अफ दि सीटी इज इम्पर्टेंट Uh, and it is coeval to the idea of refuge the idea of cosmopolitanism the idea where people can come in even though they are unaffiliated to certain places i mean how many people do you see say in bordhavan uh, who are, do not belong to west bengal all right and how many people do you see in delhi who do not belong to delhi so obviously there is a huge difference this is because delhi is a cosmopolis and bardhaman is a small town which is why we have greater amount of cosmopolitan refuge spaces in delhi now uh, uh, also uh, just to read this out um, maybe this will uh, this was this is nice this i think you will like this uh, now uh, uh, let me make my point and then read so while derida is saying that well we have to move from the anachronistic idea of a nation to an idea of cities of refuge nation dharonar शेष हो ग राष्ट्र धारणार एक मैं एनाक्रनिस्टिक यार समय चले ग आगाम बनो तई बोल अन्न धारणारे जो से धारणाटा शहर धारणा से धारणाटा नेसेसरिलि लंडन किंबा पैरिस किंबा दिल्ली नय दिल्ली किचुद आगे जा हलोता शहर धारणार खूब ही धक्का खाए कबु धारणार एक जोर था धारण कर सो द आईडिया व्हाट आगाम बन एंड डेरिदा आर सजेस्टिंग इज दैट उ नीड टू ड्रप दि नेशन आईडिया बिकज इट इज ओल्ड एंड आउटडेटेड एंड उ नीड टू टक अफ सीटीज अफ रेफ्यूज यू नो दिस कसमोपलिटन फर्मेशन वेर मेनि कईंड अफ पीपल फ्रम मेनि कईंड अफ प्लेसेस कैन कम एंड स्टे so it is an alternative idea of living of human affiliation think about it that you are affiliated to a city rather than you are affiliated to a nation state because the nation state is too it is you know it is it is uh, uh, connected to the herderian idea of blood it is connected to the herderian idea of uh, uh, links through jati so it is something that has outlived its time mane jati ek dhoroner lok eki shonge thakbe tader eki itihash eki dike tara jabe ei itihash ebong ei template ta amader ei shomoy jekhane eto migration jekhane loker eto cholachol sheikhane ei dharona ta ekhon kichu ta mane achol hoye dariyeche achol hoye dariyeche karon sei dharonar moddhe ei sob लोक बिल लोक के ढोकान जाना तो बिल ना कि राष्ट्र भावनाटाई बिल ये कथाटा एक बार भेबे देख वेदार द नेशन आईडिया इट सेल्फ इज टू लिमिटेड टू यू नो अकोमोडेट एंड अकोमोडेट इज अ भेरि इंटरेस्टिंग टर्म कमोडियस कम्स फ्रम दि लैटिन रूट अफ अ हाउस टू अकोमोडेट द्यू कईंड अफ 
living and the new politics within which we are interpolated post the uh, second world war we are within multiple migrations and multiple movements so we require a uh, new sort of a uh, we need a new concept the nation was also a new concept it it replaced the empire concept so we need to replace the empire at uh, the nation concept with the city concept thik ache ei porjonto now what is my minor point my minor point is now i am making a minor point in relation to derida therefore i should be you know extremely humble in making this point i am saying that uh, and this i am saying pace derida that you cannot global latinize a idea you see what works for europe or for the americas will not work for south asia so the city concept which draws from the uh, city republics of greece and rome which draws from uh, augustine city of god will not work for south asia for south asia it, it would be the city idea has never really worked now increasingly you will see that if you read your ashish nandi you will see how a city like bombay a city like kolkata has always tried to make itself like a village it has made little bits of uh, uh, communities especially the slums especially the padas they have always talked about how it was like the village so india has not really become a uh, place of cities there is strong jati affiliation there are strong blood affiliations which prevent us from becoming uh, from adopting this city idea therefore i suggest that the idea of the chaur is interesting the idea of the chaur is interesting as another kind of dharana where a new place of refuge can be made so fairly i mean uh, fairly territorial kind of point that we don't have those kinds of cities we don't have those kinds of cosmopolitanism therefore the chaur could be that beginning of our understanding that all land like all human beings before they have been marked in the register of the calcutta corporation all land is actually does not belong to anybody all human beings are unmarked ei je khub boro kotha je jayga tao karun noy ar manush o karun noy kintu ekta point er porei tara ekta pre cognitive stage er porei tader upor ekta chhap mere dewa hoy to amader jodi ei dharona ta dharon korte hoy je we need to get out of this conflictual state we also need to understand it from the position of the chaur which itself is liminal aaj ache kal nei so that is the point that i am trying to make i mean do sort of you know forgive me if i am becoming very very sort of convoluted but i'm 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 trying to make a major point and i think that this is a place where i can make this major point now the essay critically engages with the arentian position in we refugees and one in which she reverses et ekto monojog diye shunun she reverses the hierarchy of the citizen national at the top and the stateless at the bottom ekdom opore ache jar aadhar card ar pan card ar voter card ache ar ekdom niche ache jar kono kagoj nei so papier ye derida tader bolechen kagojhin फर्म তুমি যদি অরফান হও বা তুমি বাবা মার ঠিকানা না জানো তাহলেই তো তুমি জানবে যে আসলে যে পরিবারে তুমি ওটা অটোমেটিক নয় বাবা মা দুটো আলাদা লোক তারা কো হ্যাবিট করলে একটা বাচ্চা হয় তারপরে তাদের নাম দেওয়া হয় তুমি সেটার মধ্যেই থাকলে এই যে অরিজিনারি প্রসেসটা কোনোদিন জানতে পারবে না তাই না তো স্টেটলেস হওয়ার এই একটা সুবিধে যে ইউ নো দি বিগিনিং অফ হিস্ট্রি ইউ নো দ্য বিগিনিং অফ নেশন মেকিং 
no i'm not i'm not suggesting that this is a very happy position to be in but then uh, history often pushes us to such positions they expose themselves to the fate of human beings that are unprotected by any specific law or political convention and are nothing but human beings they are nothing but human beings just like chores which are nothing but territories apni apnar ekta jomir ektu tukro dekhan to which is nothing but a territory nei ab prottekta mark kora ache mouja mane nombor sob kichu apnar map ta ache ekta jayga dekhan to which is nothing but a territory serom ekta manush dekhan which is nothing but a human being ekebare nobo jatok she is nothing but a human being তো স্টেটলেস হলে আপনি আবার সেই জায়গাটায় আসেন এবং আপনি আবার দেখতে পান এইসব ফিকশন যে রাষ্ট্র বানানোর ফিকশন মানুষ কি তার ফিকশন এই ফিকশনের পেছনে যে কল কাঠিগুলো নাট বোল্টুগুলো এগুলো আপনি আরেকবার দেখতে পাবেন এইটা একটা সুবিধে আর সবই অসুবিধে মারাত্মক অসুবিধে খেতেও পাবেন না মরেও যাবেন কিন্তু অন্তত এই যে দিব্য দৃষ্টিটুকু আপনার হবে so the yeah, anyway i think it's already 45 minutes isn't it so um agamben is ideating dekho negulo ami eka bolini ar ki apnar mone hobe je ki drishto mohila ei sob kotha barta bolche ami eka bolini mane ageo onekei bolechen ar ki agamben is ideating a structureless structure that is impossible to spatially pin down উনি একটা মোবাইল স্ট্রিপের কথা বলেছেন মোবাইল স্ট্রিপ না অনেকটা এরকম হয় এইট এর মতন হয় না আছে আরম্ভ না আছে শেষ আর যাদের একটু অঙ্ক জানা আছে তারা মোবাইল স্ট্রিপের কথা জানবে সো আগাম বেন ইজ টকিং আউট সাচ এ স্ট্রাকচার এবারে মানে সাবকন্টিনেন্টাল জায়গার মধ্যে ওই মোবাইল স্ট্রিপের ব্যাপারটা কাজ করবে না হ্যাঁ কারণ এই অঙ্কের জায়গাটাও আমাদের অসুবিধে হবে কিন্তু মোবাইল স্ট্রিপটা ইন্টারেস্টিং যে এমন একটা স্ট্রাকচার যেটা স্ট্রাকচার নয় আপনি দেখুন একটা জায়গা তার মধ্যে কত রকম মানে কত রকম লিগাল পজিশনস আছে যেমন আসাম কত রকম এক তো মানে প্রবলেম তো আছেই ধরুন বেঙ্গল তার মধ্যে ছিটমহল আছে তার মধ্যে আনমার্কড বর্ডার্স আছে তার মধ্যে চর আছে দামোদরের চর আছে মরিজ্ঝাপির চর আছে যেগুলো কখনো ওঠে কখনো আউটার আইল্যান্ডস আছে তার আলাদা আলাদা লজ আছে কাজে একটা ল কিন্তু নেই ওয়েস্ট বেঙ্গল যে ভাবছেন একটা ল আর পার্টিশনের একটা লেকচার হবে যেটা একটা পার্টিশনের লেকচার ওরম কিছু সুবিধের ব্যবস্থা নেই এটা মানে মেনেই নিতে হবে আর বাংলাদেশের কথা তো বললামই না বাংলাদেশ তো অনেক বেশি ডেলটেক একটা ঝড় হলে কিছু জায়গা নিবে যাবে ডুবে যাবে যখনই ভাষানের এই জালিয়ার চরে লোক পাঠানোর কথা হয়েছিল সেই সময় বাংলাদেশের যারা জিওগ্রাফিক্যাল মানে ইন্ডিকেটার্স ঠিক করেন তাদের মধ্যে একজন বললেন যে একটা চর জেগে উঠেছে এটা আবার বাংলাদেশের এবার এটা নিয়ে ভারত আর বাংলাদেশের লাঠালাঠি লাগতে পারে চর জাগলো আবার চর ডুবেও যেতে পারে তো ওই ডাইলিউভিয়ান অ্যান্টি ডাইলিউভিয়ান লজ লাগবে কিন্তু চর একটা ধারণা চর একটা ধারণা যেটা জমির প্রাথমিক ধারণা মানে যে জমি কারুর নয় যে জমি কোথা কারো নয় সেই প্রাথমিক ধারণাটি কিন্তু আমাদের সাহায্য করবে এই যে ভয়ঙ্কর সময়ের মধ্যে দিয়ে আমরা যাচ্ছি যেটা কিন্তু প্রধানত পোস্ট পার্টিশন চশমা দিয়ে আমরা দেখছি ও পার্টিশনে এরম হয়েছিল এইবার তোকে আমি মারব তো পার্টিশনের আগেও একটা ল্যান্ড মানে একটা ভাবনা ছিল সেই জায়গাটাই কিন্তু আমাদের যেতে হবে একটা সংযুক্ত এবং বিযুক্ত একটা ধারণা সংযুক্ত এবং বিযুক্ত এটা এটা যতক্ষণ আমরা সেখানে না আসতে পারবো এই লাঠালাঠির কোনো শেষ হবে না কেমন সো এখানে আমি আরেকটু বলে আমি এবার শেষ করে দিচ্ছি দেরি দ অন দা আদার হ্যান্ড পারফোরেটস দ্য নেশন আইডিয়া অ্যান্ড প্রোপোজিং সিটিজ অফ অলটারিটি ইন দ্য ফেস অফ ওভারওয়েলমিং রিয়ালিটি অফ স্টেটলেসনেস ইন কন্টেম্পোরারি ইউরোপ অ্যান্ড দ্য ফেলিয়ার অফ দ্য নেশন স্টেট টু এনগেজ উইথ সাচ এ ক্রাইসিস ঠিক আছে সো আই এম নট রিডিং আউট হোয়াট হি হ্যাজ সেড ইন দ্য সিটি অফ রেফিউজ আই এম নট রিডিং আউট হোয়াট আগাম বেন হ্যাজ সেড ইন আউট অফ বাউন্ডস মোটামুটি একটা আমি 
করে দিলাম মানে ওই প্রেসি যাকে বলে আর এইটুকু একটুখানি আমি লিখেছি যখন আপনাদের পড়েই আমি তবে শোনাবো মানে আমিও তো নাচর বান্দা গোছের লোক তো দি আইডিয়া অফ দি কলোনিয়াল সিটি ইজ ইকোনমিক্যালি রুইনাস কেন আমাদের এখানে শহরের ভাবনা চলবে না রুইনাস ইন প্যারাসিটিক্যাল ওজ ইটস কনসেপচুয়াল ডেট টু দাদা ভাই নরোজ ইজ পভার্টি অ্যান্ড আন ব্রিটিশ রুল ইন ইন্ডিয়া অ্যান্ড ওয়ার্কস অফ আদার ড্রেইন অফ ওয়েলথ ইকোনমি সাচ এস রমেশ চন্দ্র মজুমদার আমাদের প্রথম থেকেই যে পলিটিক্যাল ডিসকোর্সটা ওয়াজ অ্যান্টি সিটি অল রাইট দ্যাট ইজ হোয়াট আই এম ট্রাইং টু সে দ্য কলোনিয়াল ইন্টারভেনশন অ্যাজ এ as coeval to drain of cultural and economic wealth finds imaginative and cultural reassurance in indian modernists such as rabindranath thakur gandhi r kotha to ar bollami na gandhi wanted to make a village of the all of india and he was he was a very smart man very smart man i mean oi dhorone localized bhavna jodi amra shotti nite partam we would have become far more global যাই হোক আমাদের তো সবই একেবারে চকা ব্লক মডেল ধার করা এরকম টুপি ওরা ঘুরিয়ে পড়ে আমরাও ঘুরিয়ে পড়বো মানে আমেরিকানরা ঠিক যেটা করে তো কলোনিয়াল ইন্টারভেনশন আছে গেল আচ্ছা টেগোর স্ত্রীর পত্র আর কে নারায়ণ গাইড প্রেমচান্দ শ্রীবাসাদন শরৎচন্দ্র চট্টোপাধ্যায় শ্রীকান্ত দেবদাস অল টক অ্যাবাউট এর রিটার্ন টু দি কান্ট্রি you see there is the corrupt city and a return to the country the infantilized village is ever present in indic city imaginary and aspirational the corrupt city ever present in india's denuded village imagery acha ashish nandi's insights about recreation of village spaces within mumbai chols and strong village nostalgia marking indian cinema especially shottojit rai's pather pachali raj kapoor's awara shri 420 jagte raho popular tele serial such as nukkar are relevant city poets such as bishnu de and urun kolatkar have remained lonely isolated figures in terms of major cultural influence ek sob theke ekta pradhan important chobi amader shomoy ta mane marathi chobi tar naam sairat pore eta dharak bole ekta hindi chobi hoychilo it is again about the invasion of the village into the city it's about caste issues all right uh, so i'm saying that the you know other see, uh, movies like dam laga ke hai sa barili ki barfi these all recreate those you know villages they are uh, you know villages within cities and the great new city novel of urundhati roy the ministry of utmost happiness did not succeed as much as her uh, as her uh, village novel डिनेटलि द लास्ट পোর্শন ওই যে এত কষ্ট করে লিখেছি তো যে জন্য একটু পড়েই ফেলছি বুঝেছেন তো চর অ্যাজ আ সেন্ট্রাল এন্টিটি বাট নট আ ওয়েস্ট ল্যান্ড বাট আ প্লেস অফ রেফিউজ ইজ ফাউন্ড ইন দি এন্টায়ার ট্রেডিশন অফ বেঙ্গলি ন্যারেটিভস বিগিনিং উইথ শ্যামুল গঙ্গোপাধ্যায়ের কুবেরের বিষয় আশয় সুনীল গঙ্গোপাধ্যায়ের জল জঙ্গলের কাব্য অনিল গড়াইজ নুনবাড়ি সুশীল জানাজ বেলাভূমির গান ঝরেশ্বর চট্টোপাধ্যায়ের চর পূর্ণিমা and samudra duar sadhan gangopadhyay gohin gang abdul abdul jabbar silishmari chor sochin das dasher nundoria utpolendu mondols mandas this is a wonderful novel amor mitros dhanopotir chor shaktipad rajgurus dandok theke morijjhapi uh hosen shorabs gang bahini now there are many others of course there is hungry tide as well which is in english which is why it is mostly taught shaktipad rajguru has many novels on chores so um, definitely now man this is what my students say that your last never comes but uh, the i this time it is going to be so mass statelessness as resulting from trauma events and from uh, conflicts mark a decisive turn in the life of the modern nation state as well as in the naive notion please 
underline the naive notion of citizen and of national. In the light of present citizenship laws and reinforcement of people without territorial rights, the Guspetia, the concept of a territory of Chorlands as states of refuge for the disenfranchised, the waste people of subcontinent will assume even greater importance as will the realization of the anachronicity the un and the untenable nature of the nation-state formation. Thank you.